Hello, I'm Richard Emmett and I'm the chair of the Historical Research Group of Citybourne. The committee and I are pleased to announce that our volunteers have been awarded a Queen's Award for Voluntary Service for promoting local history through research, exhibitions, events and publications. We are immensely proud to be awarded a Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, which reflects the huge dedication and enthusiasm shown by the HRGS and Heritage Hub volunteers in the promotion of local history. There has been much undertaken by hundreds of individuals behind the scenes at the Hub. It includes many, many hours of research and preparation, all of which helps create our heritage presentations and events. Receiving the Queen's Award is a great honour for our group and reflects the fact that this is the highest award given to local volunteer groups across the United Kingdom in recognition for outstanding work done in our communities. So why was HRGS nominated? This film looks back over the years from when it was founded in 2004 by Alan Abbey and a group of local historians. And here is a reminder of the things we've achieved over those years. So sit back and enjoy. These photographs represent just some of the volunteers who have been involved in the various projects. And this award is for you all, regardless of whether we manage to capture you in a photograph. And a big thanks to all our sponsors over the years who helped us promote local history. Here are some of our key sponsors. It has been a pleasure to partner with so many individuals and groups to provide work placements at the Heritage Hub. and HRGS has provided outreach sessions for local schools. Here are most of the groups and organisations we have worked with over the last few years. The amount is eye-boggling. Over the Christmas of 2014, we moved into Unit 17 in the Forum and renamed it the Heritage Hub. In just a few days and with some hard work by our volunteers, we redecorated and reformatted the exhibition space, ready for our opening in early 2015. We also moved all our research facilities from our one room at Phoenix House to our new research and training rooms above and behind the exhibition. Over recent years, HRGS has been involved in a variety of high profile events and research areas. And this is a whistle stop tour of the highlights. In 2016, we designed and launched a historic town trail along Sittingbourne High Street. It was known as the Cat Trail. In 2017, HRGS commemorated the centenary of the Battle of Passchendaele which was televised by both BBC South East and Kent Messenger TV. Our flagship project over the last few years has been our World War I Memorials Project. That started in 2012. Over the last eight years, much has been achieved. Our World War I Memorials Project has achieved much, but we are most proud that it provides a valuable social study with a researchable database accessible to the community. In October 2018, the Forum Shopping Centre allowed us to take over two empty shop units for six months. This gave us the opportunity to showcase the stories of over 300 lives of local fallen men and one woman. Where we have found photographs, we told their story in the first person. This visual collage demonstrated the loss of life to our local community and was a very popular and poignant display, which was also shared widely on social media. Following eight years of research, we compiled a list of 1,149 local names to be commemorated on a wall of reflection. 
many of whom are not remembered on any other memorial. The wall measures six metres wide and two metres tall, providing another strong visual reminder of the loss of life locally. It was unveiled in the Forum Shopping Centre in November of 2018 by our President, Deputy Lieutenant Paul Austin Esquire, and our patron, Sir Anthony Cleaver, together with the Mayor of Swale, Councillor Samuel Kofi Williams, and the wall is now displayed permanently in the Heritage Hub. The unveiling of the wall was particularly moving as we were joined by many of the relatives of the fallen and the researchers who had spent years uncovering the stories behind each of the 1,149 names. On the 23rd of April 2019, HRGS were instrumental in organising the rededication of a Commonwealth War Grave headstone in Canterbury. This was for Alec Grigg from Milton Regis, who is the youngest CWGC recorded casualty in the United Kingdom from World War I, and his headstone now records the fact that he was aged just 14. During 2017 and 2018, to commemorate the centenary of World War I, HRGS organised a total of nine World War I themed talks provided by local and national authoritative speakers on behalf of Swale Borough Council. The proceeds from these talks we used to fund our walk of reflection in 2019. On the 29th of June 2019, over 200 people, including researchers, relatives and the general public, joined a parade to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the signing of the First World War Peace Treaty. As a mark of respect, they walked 35 banners along Sittingbourne High Street, which listed the 1,149 names from across the 25 parishes in and around Sittingbourne. The parade concluded at the War Memorial, where 25 white doves were symbolically released to represent the men who lost their lives, and from each of the parishes as a sign of peace. To mark the end of the World War I project, on the 21st of July 2019, in the atrium in the Forum Shopping Centre, HRGS held a well-attended Peace Day tea party for researchers and relatives which also coincided with the 15th anniversary of the forming of HRGS. The other area of interest for many of our researchers is archaeology. From 2016 to 2018, the Rose Hill House project at the Grove Sittingbourne was a popular community dig. HRGS worked with a number of groups, including local schools and residents. As part of the Rose Hill project in November of 2017, some of our researchers became involved in a music and dance production. The Chronicles of Rose Hill was a creative and innovative way of conveying to the audience the rich history researched by HRGS on the mysterious house in the woods. It took the form of a Sonnet Luminaire production a visual PowerPoint presentation was supported by narration from members of HRGS and song and movement provided by the children from Grove Park School with the script and musical accompaniment from Gail Duff and Trads. Our longest standing archaeological project has been our investigations at Bredhurst, which began in 2010 and is still ongoing. It started as an excavation into an Anglo-Norman manor house, but we have also uncovered artefacts from various periods, including Mesolithic to the Victorian. We have had hundreds of diggers involved over the years, including many from schools and also members of the Young Archaeologists Clubs, known as YAKS. Our Handling History Project, which is re-examining over 4,000 locally found archaeological artefacts, has attracted a lot of interest from our members and also student placements who have been involved in reassessing and drawing the artefacts. 
One of the benefits of having the Heritage Hub is being able to champion the Wheels of Time initiative, which HRGS is part of. This scheme encourages children aged 5 to 11 to visit small to medium sized museums across Kent. These are just some of the award winners who chose to collect their award at the Heritage Hub for receiving their top award for visiting all 40 heritage sites. Another benefit of the Heritage Hub, which we call our window to the world, is that we can organise handling history sessions. As you can see in this photo with some of the youngsters who enjoyed participating in handling real artefacts from the past. We have produced the archive magazine since May 2004 and we are proud to say that we have produced 166 editions to date. The magazine shares research and encourages interest in local history, which is distributed to the local community and even some overseas. Since its formation, HRGS has always provided talks and for the last few years we have organised joint talks with the Sittingbourne Heritage Museum. Due to the current coronavirus situation, we have moved our talks to being online to ensure that we still encourage interest in local history. Over the years, HRGS has produced a total of 18 publications and have more in the pipeline. These are just three of the most recent. For the last four years, we have produced a heritage calendar as a joint fundraising project with City Moon Heritage Museum from which we share the proceeds. Our website, our original window to the world, was created by founder member Ginny Lamb and hosted by Computer Rescue. Over the years, many people have contributed to the website, but in October 2017, a complete rebuild took place thanks to Tony Gray. Since then, Jack Jones and Stephen Palmer, with contributions from many others, have developed it into the valuable research resource it is today. Usually on the first Friday of the month after the 1pm news, HRGS has a live history slot on the local Sittingbourne FM radio station. Why not tune in? We are also very proud of our Facebook page, which has a lot of good interactions and information about our activities and research. Currently, we have 585 followers, which grows daily. Thanks to funding from the East Kent Freemasons, we initiated our digitisation project in 2019. This project involves scanning, identifying and cataloguing thousands of photographs, documents, maps and archaeological artefacts in our possession. This will enable easier searchable access for future researchers and bring HRGS into the 21st century. All of this could not have been achieved without the commitment and dedication of a very strong committee who I am pleased to say has been constant over the last few years. Becoming a member of HRGS means you can help bring history alive. You can meet new people, be part of a friendly team, learn new skills, gain valuable work experience, receive training and support, and most importantly, make a difference to local heritage. We offer several forms of membership, including individual, family, or online e-membership. And finally, thank you. You've all earned this accolade and helped the Historical Research Group of Citibourne bring history alive.